This exhibition is called Voices Without Borders and explores the role of the witness via ephemeral and material entities. Well, before I started sculpture, sculpture I was a painter and my paintings were very, they were really abstracted uh, landscapes, especially the landscape that I actually saw from my window in Beirut, which was Mount Sanin, and um, it was a play of, of color between the white and the pink that this mountain has in sun sunset, before sunset, and then after sunset it becomes terribly white because the sun is gone, and this play of color occupied me a long time until I made a, quite a few paintings on that theme. At the same time, the Civil War had started. After a few years, in 1980, it had started already for five years, uh, we decided, Etel and I, to go to California. We were waiting for this war to end, and this, we realized that this war was never going to end and we were just losing our time. And so we went to California. That's when I started the publishing house. I didn't want to paint, and I did the right thing. If I had just sat in my room painting, it, I would have not be part of the actual place. By having my publishing house, I met a huge world of wonderful poets, scholars, printers, all kinds of wonderful people, which became, oh, they became our friends. And after a few years, I went back to a, 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 a art practice, and it was like an unsaid thing that it was going to be sculpture and it was going to be clay sculpture. So my first piece, actually, was a stone. It reminded me of all, I would say now, fragments of uh, old artifacts that are everywhere in our countries in archaeological sites. They are thrown away, they are left out, they are just there because they can't take everything. And I want that stone, I immediately made it as a torso, and I called it Torso Found in Downtown Beirut Today. Meaning that from the first piece, I linked archaeology with the war. And that vision, actually, which was, came by chance, stayed with me. I have chosen to read a poem by Baudelaire because this, it was his first prose poem, and it's about clouds. Qui aimes-tu le mieux, homme énigmatique? Dis, ton père, ta mère, ta sœur ou ton frère? Je n'ai ni père, ni mère, ni sœur, ni frère. Tes amis, vous vous servez là d'une parole dont le sens m'est resté jusqu'à ce jour inconnu. Ta patrie, j'ignore sous quelle latitude elle est située. La beauté, je l'aimerais volontiers, déesse et immortelle. L'or, je le hais comme vous haïssez Dieu. Et qu'aimes-tu donc, extraordinaire étranger J'aime les nuages, les nuages qui passent là-bas, les merveilleux nuages. 